So you might recognize this cup. It's popped up in my videos over and over again, and sometimes I will even make a random nice comment about it that's completely off topic. Have we talked about how much I love these red cups? I think we have. And I'll reach for this cup often, and I'm always excited to drink out of it. I thought for a long time that it was because this was a gift and I had some emotional attachment to it. Oh, I almost just dropped it. But it turns out there's another reason that the coffee in this cup tastes better. And it's the same reason that the coffee made in this red V60 tastes better too. Comment below if you saw this coming, but the reason the coffee tastes better in this mug is because it's red. Now, I kind of didn't believe it at first either, but an article from Biomed Central describes some interesting findings about how the color of your coffee mug can influence the taste of the coffee in it. This was a small study, but it cited many references dating back as far as the 70s that showed that the color of the mug had a significant and predictable impact on coffee's taste and aroma. White and brown mugs were almost always detrimental to flavor, making the coffee appear more dark brown, prompting testers to evaluate the coffee as overly intense and bitter. Blue mugs, on the other hand, made the beverage feel mellow, but also slightly cooler in terms of temperature perception, which may or may not be a good thing depending on who you are. But out of a group of 200 respondents, 80% described the coffee in the red cup as having a richer, full aroma. And other studies show the color red increases our perception of sweetness due to an association with ripening fruit. Now, this is of course a bit subjective, but perception is reality, right? So if you taste the same beverage or the same food in a different context and have a different taste experience, are you wrong? Like coffee tastes different when you're in a rush to get out the door in the morning versus when you have time to sit with a friend or partner and enjoy it together. And I've heard this sort of thing before from people in the wine world. Someone asked for a bottle that they had while they were on vacation when they come back home and the person buying that bottle later complains that it didn't taste the same. To which the person they bought it from replies, well, were you on vacation when you drank this bottle? And of course, the experience was a lot different even though the beverage technically was the same. But what about red mugs and the color red's association with food? Well, right now I'm thinking, and maybe you're thinking this too, there are at least a few red things in my kitchen. But how many? So let's head downstairs, make some coffee, and find out how many red things I've unconsciously surrounded myself with. <coughs> Okay, so this is a lot. I knew that I had quite a few things that were red, but I mean, cookware, cups, storage stuff, uh, you know, these little sauce caps are also red. But now I wanna turn the focus back on the coffee. I'm gonna set up a tasting, pull out a couple different mugs of different shapes, sizes, and of course, different colors to see how they affect the way that I perceive the coffee's taste. Now, usually I try to taste things blind if I'm evaluating coffees for a menu or just doing palate development for myself or a group of trainees. And in those contexts, having identical cups is par for the course. You really want to minimize any perceived difference so you can focus on the tasting. But that's kind of not the point here. I want to see if the color of these cups changes the way I feel about this coffee. So I'm going to brew one pour over and I'm going to put equal amounts in each cup, give them a taste and see how I feel about them. And by the way, if you're curious about the recipe I'm using, I'll post that video link in the description. Hmm. That is really weird. Same coffee five different cups. I'm gonna taste them one more time. I already have a couple standouts, uh, which is kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Yeah, this one I actually don't like at all, which is funny because I love this mug. This actually does taste a bit sweeter. It's probably my mind playing tricks on me. Um, in fact, it most likely is, but let's keep tasting. Yeah, so right away, the my first impression was that the yellow was a bit sharp and acidic. I still think that that's true. I'm getting a lot of astringency, a lot of like citrus peel, which is really weird. And then when I go to the blue mug, I don't get that at all. It really is like a lot more mellow, kind of flat. Um, the black one is really flat. But still has a bit of sweetness to it. The brown. Brown's actually not so bad. I know in the study they really like wrecked the brown mug, but I don't mind the brown mug at all. 
I do definitely think, hold on. Yeah, super weird. This is the sweetest cup for sure. And I mean, it's, by, it's you know, it's very small differences. Like these are not huge differences. They're all definitely the same coffee. But I think just from perhaps confirmation bias, perhaps it is, you know, something else where I just have some kind of preference for the color or the cup itself. Have we talked about how much I love these red cups? I think we have. I mean, clearly this one is like one of my favorite cups and I really don't like the way it tastes out of this cup. Nope, 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 nope. Weird. It could have also been like the order that I poured, but I did pour twice. So I tried to get everything nice and evenly distributed between all five cups. So yeah, it's very interesting how the aesthetics really do play a role in how you enjoy or don't enjoy your coffee. Having worked in hospitality for years has taught me about how these little details about your environment can make a big difference. Even things like the color, shape, and feel of your ceramics. So if you're investing lots of time and effort into coffee brewing or into optimizing espresso bar even, I think it's also worth spending the time to consider how you serve your coffee and the environment that you're serving it in. And I'm curious about your setups. Do you have a favorite way to serve coffee and would it be the same without it? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Ha 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 ha. But what about red mugs and the color reds 